All right. So, um, welcome, welcome, whether you're watching this live with us or you're doing the replay. Um, my name's Bernadette, and I am an advanced EFT practitioner, been doing it since about 2002. Um, what is it? Everybody wants to know what is tapping. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. It was pioneered by a man named Gary Craig and his friend Roger Callahan. I trained under Gary Craig. And what we're going to do, it's going to look really weird and it's going to seem very strange, but every single thing we do, there's a reason for it. So we're going to tap on lymph points. We're going to tap on main meridian points in the body, according to Chinese medicine. We're going to repeat phrases. You're going to roll your eyes. You're going to sing happy birthday. You're going to count to five and it's going to seem really strange. What we're doing when we hit the meridian points is releasing the emotional stress tied to whatever emotion you're feeling. And when we roll our eyes and we hum and we count, we are literally bringing the left and right brains back to center. During times of crisis, during times of stress, during times of emotional overwhelm, anxiety, fear, whatever, um, we tend to, our brain tends to split. We, we become on one side of the brain or the other. And if it stays that way, we become very fractured internally. We can hold on to things like PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder during the COVID virus. And the reason that I am doing this free tapping session for all of you is because I do have friends and clients that are in the healthcare system, that are emergency responders, that are even stocking the shelves and they're like, oh my God, people are crazy and cashiers and whatever. Um, so I'm just trying to do my part to offer what I can as much as I can to calm everything down and to give you guys something to come back to um, when you're like having a, a, a meltdown. So when this is done, um, I will put this up on my YouTube channel, Bernadette Gold. I'll put it on my Facebook page, my business page, which is Fear Slayer Bernadette. <laughs> and you can access the replay there. And I'm, I'll, I will end up pinning this to the top of the page so it's easy to find. In any case, a um, couple disclaimers. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a licensed psychotherapist. I do spiritual counseling, life coaching, and intuitive work. But I know this stuff works. It's worked with people with PTSD. It's worked with people with sexual trauma. It works with children when they're having meltdowns. It works with people who are autistic, autistic, not artistic, autistic, when they're having an overwhelm in their um, mental, emotional, and physical body. So that's why we do it. And it is going to seem very strange, but it works. <laughs> do it with me. If you volunteer and Sheila's going to volunteer to do the first round with me, hopefully whoever else has signed up comes in. Um, otherwise, we'll just do a couple of rounds and you guys will have this on recording so that you can play it back when you're having a moment. Because it, it, even if you're not doing it live here, if you just follow along and do it and really focus on, on the emotion, the trauma, whatever you're feeling, um, it will dissipate it. It will bring it way, way down to where you can cope. And then if you have even worse stuff, I mean, you're free to set up an appointment with me. All my prices are half off right now, but um, it's just me doing my part. So here's the other part. If you do come on live with me like Sheila, this is going to be broadcast you know, on, on YouTube and Facebook to help people so that they actually can tap along. Um, so you will show up on video. If you don't want that, don't raise your hand to volunteer kind of simple. And I'm probably going to have to repeat that because we are on a, um, we don't have many people here. Maybe we'll only do a couple of rounds. We'll see. But um, Sheila, are you ready? Yeah. All right. So um, on a scale of one to 10, where would you put your emotions in dealing with the COVID virus and all of the stuff going on right now? We're right now at eight. Okay. And what are the feelings? Um, very anxious. Okay. My anxiety is kicking in a lot. Yeah, very stressful. Uh, and I'm having a um, hard time sleeping because my son works in the ER. So there's worry too about him? Yes. Okay. And JD up there, you can put whatever you want to add into the comments. 
Um, those won't be replayed, so nobody can see that, and it's just your initials, so nobody knows who you are. If you want to add on to that, um, things that you're feeling, then we can catch that in the next round. We'll probably have to do at least two rounds, because I want to get this as low as I can. Um, let's start with the anxiety and the stress. Um, what's your biggest point of anxiety? What's the thought process? It's just uncertainty. The uncertainty of everything. Like when's it going to end? Yeah. And we're just at the beginning. <laughs> we haven't even hit the peak. So, yeah. I just realized, oh no, I did it right. We haven't hit the peak, no. Welcome, Kim. Um, okay. So is some of the anxiety having to do with you personally or just as a whole, can the hospital handle it? I think it's as a whole because you see it everywhere. It's everywhere. So it's not only personal. I think that... The personal aspect is it's the pivotal point, but everything surrounding you is just adding on to it. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yep. Why is it making me it's making me add people? I apologize. I don't I don't normally do registration when it comes to doing my classes, but because I wasn't sure how many people were gonna try and come in. Um it's making me add people and there's like people in the waiting room. I'm like, I have a waiting room. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so I apologize if you were stuck in the waiting room because I didn't even know I had one. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, all right, Sheila, you ready? Sheila's tapped with me before because she's in a couple of my um, other classes. And like I said, this is going to seem very weird. Um, just follow along and do it with us. And then after we get done with one round with Sheila, if any of you that are here now want to tap on what you're feeling, what you're experiencing in your words, then you can come on. Just be aware it is going to be broadcast and replayed for on Facebook and YouTube. So I can't control who sees this. So if you're like, I don't want to be seen on camera, then don't volunteer. It's just that simple. Um, so, all right. What we're gonna do first is find our, what's called source spot in EFT tapping. And I already did the explanation, so you guys will have to come back and watch the replay. Um, if you poke around your chest from about the top of your breast to your collarbone, your clavicle, somewhere in there, you will find a sore spot. Just poke. <laughs> and once you find your sore spot, you can either rub it in a circle, not too hard. You don't want to do any damage. See, I just found one right there. Um, or you take two fingers and just tap on it. And we're going to start there and repeat a phrase three times. That is a lymphatic congestion point, what we call in tapping lymphatic congestion point. It's a lymph point. It holds emotional congestion. So when you're emotionally stressed, when you're going through trauma, when you're anxious, it congests right into your lymphatic points, and this is one of those points. So we tap there. You can tap on both sides. You can tap on one or the other side. Doesn't really matter. Okay? So start tapping, Sheila. You ready? Even though. Yep. Even though. I have a lot of anxiety. I have a lot of anxiety. And it's very overwhelming. And is very overwhelming because it brings up a lot of uncertainty because it brings up a lot of uncertainty I love and accept myself I love and accept myself and I release the anxiety now and I release the anxiety now okay this is really bugging me Hold on a minute. I apologize. Keep tapping. I'm going to bring, if you don't want to be on video, take your video off. I'm going to bring it so that we're side by side, which will bring all video participants on um, because this switching screens thing 
is really getting on my last nerve. I'm like, <laughs> what is that? I can't, I can't take, hold on a minute. Hide non video. There we go. All right. <sighs> Even though. Even though. I have a lot of stress. I have a lot of stress. Over this whole coronavirus thing. Over this whole coronavirus thing. Whether I'm at work or I'm not. Whether I'm at work or I'm not. I choose to release it. I choose to release it. I love myself. I love myself. And I know it is going to be okay. And I know that it's going to be okay. Good. Take a deep breath. Even though. Even though. There's a lot of stress on a daily basis. There is a lot of stress on a daily basis. And it is really overwhelming. And it's really overwhelming. The sounds. The sounds. The feeling. The feeling. The rushing around. The rushing around. The confusion. The confusion. And big uncertainties. And the big uncertainties. I still choose to release all of the stress. I still choose to release all of the stress. And I love myself. And I love myself. Good job. Top of that. Tap right on the part line. It's the place of a thousand meetings. I don't like feeling this. I don't like feeling this. Front of the eyebrow, right on the bone. I wish it would just stop. I wish it would just stop. Side of the eye. I don't know when it's going to end. I don't know when it's going to end. Under the eye. And that makes it even scarier. And that makes it even scarier. Right under the nose. Nobody knows when it's going to end. Nobody knows when it's going to end. On the chin. And it's not even at its peak. And it's not even at its peak. Front of the collarbone, right on the bone. It makes me crazy. It makes me crazy. Under the arm. Another sore spot right around the bra strap for women. Tap there. And it makes me very fearful. And it makes me very fearful. Good. Top of the hand, right between the two fingers. There's a little joint there. Just tap in that joint and then do what I say. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. You're going to hold your head still. Keep tapping. Roll your eyes from the floor to the ceiling to the floor and back the other way. Um, happy birthday. Count to five quickly. One, two, One, three, four, three, five. Four, five. Come again. Good. We're going to count backwards from five to one. Five being all the stress that you have been holding. One, all of it's gone. You ready? Take a deep breath. Let it out. Five. Another deep breath. Nice and slow. Let it go. Four. Keep tapping. Another deep breath. Let it out. Getting lighter and lighter. Three. Good. Another deep breath. Two. And keep tapping. Last one. One. Now we're going to tap in the positive. Top of the head. I am uh, safe. I am safe. Front of the eyebrow. I am calm. I am calm. Side of the eye. I am no longer overwhelmed. I am no longer overwhelmed. Under the eye. I am confident that I will be okay. I am confident that I will be okay. Under the nose. I am confident that my family will be okay. I am confident that my family will be okay. On the chin. I can handle this. I can handle this. I can let go of whatever is happening as it's happening. I, I can let go of whatever is happening as it's happening. Under the arm. 
I am releasing all the stress of this and not carrying it. I'm releasing all the stress of this and not carrying it. Good. Karate chop point right there. Even though. Even though. I'm scared. I'm scared. And I wish I didn't have to go to work tomorrow. And or I the wish next I didn't day. have to go to work tomorrow or the next day. I wish this virus would end. I wish this virus would end. I choose to be at peace now. I choose to be at peace now. And pull on my strength. And pull on my strength. And even though. And even though. It's all chaotic. It's all chaotic. It's all unknown. It's all unknown. And it makes it even more stressful. And it makes it even more stressful. I trust that I can handle it with peace. I trust that I can handle it with peace. I trust in myself. I trust in myself. And even though. And even though. I am not sleeping well. I am not sleeping well. I will begin to get better sleep. I will begin to get better sleep. I love myself. I love myself. I trust that everything's working out right now. I trust that everything is working out right now. Good. Stop tapping. Take a deep breath. There you go. Now, for those of you who are um, not on video right now, if you can put in the chat, and there is a little chat box, depending on if you're on your phone or not, you just click and it will show you in the chat box. If you could just type in there, did that bring some relief? And Sheila, did it bring relief for you? Yes. Good. Someone was asking me how to get in and I'm like, uh, the link. Um, good. All right. So you started Kim saying yes to, all right. So if you started at an eight, where is your level of anxiety and stress right now? To be three. honest, three. at a three. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when we're tapping, sometimes when we tap, Chris is saying four. Okay. So we want to get it lower. I want you guys to get it lower, as low as we can. Um, sometimes when we tap and we go through the round, um, it will bring up images or it will bring up sounds or it will bring up memories. Did it bring anything up for you, Sheila? Just, just the craziness in, in, in the hospital. Just everybody, all the staff wearing masks. Uh, walking with each other, saying hi, <laughs> staying away from each other, saying hi from afar. Okay. And for and those just trying to be positive. Yeah. Well, and for those of you, if any of you guys want to come on and tap um, and you've got your own stuff that you're carrying with you, please just bring your video on um, and then I will put you on and we'll tap with you if you would rather Sheila do it than you. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay too but put in the chat box what you're feeling if you're afraid to come on video and I get it some people are like I'm not going on video that's cool tell us what it is you are needing to tap on like what is the feeling you know and I'm not in it like I go to the store with a mask and gloves on if I have to go to the store I have asthma my dad is 78 he's got heart disease and AFib so we have to watch it but I'm not at the hospital, so I don't know what you guys are looking at. So you have to tell me like what images and stuff come up for you guys. Kim's saying I had to scan people's forehead with no mask as they came into my building. I'm afraid to bring this home to my little boy. Okay. Do you have that fear too, Sheila? Yes. Have they tested you? No. Priority right now is um, patience, and you know we're trying to just do the best we can. Okay. Is there any anger? Do you guys have any anger about that? Yeah, I think you know everybody is upset. It's I think it's a, a lot of mixed emotions. It's anger, sadness, um, not wanting to be there. Why is this happening? You know, why is, too. why is the government not responding? Why are people not doing what they're supposed to be doing? Um, 
You why know, don't we have ventilators? Why don't we have personal protection? <laughs> our peep, uh, the, the PPEs, the masks, the N95 masks, you know, just. Okay. And let me just validate for you, all of us out here are asking the same freaking questions. <laughs> like, why are you not making this a priority? Drop everything and give them what they need to do their jobs properly. Like, I get it. Um, and I'm angry for you. But it is okay. And I want you guys to know it's okay to have that anger. Like, you know, um, and the fear of bringing it home, I'm sure, is huge. And the fear of getting it, just fear that there's a lot of fear, um, which doesn't help you do your job or come home and sleep, <laughs> like let it go. So, all right. So fear and anger, confusion, all of it, scale of one to 10, where's it at for you guys? Put it in the chat. And Sheila, where's it at for you? Is that a 10? <laughs> Is that a 10? I think everybody will agree is a 10. The fear part? The fear, the anger. Okay. I think all it's even it. in, all across the board. Is all anger? Okay. Let's tap on anger first. Because, <laughs> I mean, anger is a product of fear. It is. It's a vibration of fear, whether you realize it or not. It is. Um, I'm not saying that there isn't justified righteous anger. Y'all have a right to be angry. But the anger is coming from the fear of we're not protected. It's not fair right? Like, when are you going to get your heads out of your butts? So let's tap, we'll tap on fear and anger. Um, if you, <laughs> if you had to give it your own words, what would they be? <laughs> I just, I don't know. <laughs> Is there, I mean, who are you guys blaming right now for this? I think it's the government's fault because, I mean, you know, the government has the power. Trump has the power. <laughs> <Get And this. laughs> yeah, as much as, as much as we want to be angry, you know, the hospitals have limited capacities as to what they can do without the go ahead from the governors and, and, and Trump yes. himself. And if yes. the president is saying one thing, everybody's at, everybody's in the cross lines like what are we supposed to do so you know yeah i think everybody's relying on fear okay more than well yeah but i mean kind of fear and anger all at the same time mushed together which one do mm -hmm. you feel you know um angry angry too I because you do have to be afraid he blew this off months ago we already had our heads up i know i know um do you have anger towards, and this is just, just so that I know what to tap on, all right? I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad, but do you have anger, any of you, towards the people who are not taking this seriously and won't stay their butts home? You know, in a way, you can't blame them because the example comes from the top. Right, okay. And if the top is displaying that everything is okay, then who are we to blame people? Yeah. So we can't really blame okay, good. civilians. Yeah, I know. <laughs> civilians. Because <laughs> you're in the military. No. <laughs> um, that's what it feels like, though. I mean, seriously, that's what it feels like. You guys are front line. This is whether we like it or not, we're trying to, we're at war with a virus. A virus nobody even understands quite yet. So, all right, let's tap on the anger and fear. Um, and whatever else comes up. So find your sore spot. If you wanna find the other side, you can. Sometimes it helps tapping on the opposite side. You ready, Sheila? Yes. Even though. Even though. I'm angry. I'm angry. We don't have proper equipment. We don't have proper equipment. We don't have proper protection. We don't have proper protections. And yet we're supposed to put ourselves in danger. And yet we're supposed to put ourselves in danger. I don't like it. I don't like it. But I'm going to release that anger. But I'm going to release that anger. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to love myself. And up my immune system now. And up my immune system now. Even though. 
even though the government needs to get it together. The government needs to get it together. And give us what we need. And give us what we need. Give us the ventilators. Give us the ventilators. Give us the gloves and the masks. Give us the gloves and the masks. And help us pay for it. And help us pay for it. I forgive them. I forgive them. And I release the anger. And I release the anger. And I trust they will do the right thing. And I will trust that they will do the right thing. And even though. And even though. Not having the equipment makes me scared. Not having the equipment makes me scared. Then I'm going to make other people sick. That I'm going to make other people sick. That other people are going to make me sick. That other people will make me sick or might make me sick. Or that I'm going to bring it home. Or that I'm going to bring it home. It pisses me off. It pisses me off. But I choose to release that now. But I choose to release that now. Because I know that anger is only going to make me weaker. Because I know that anger will only make me weaker. So I forgive. So I forgive. Good. Top of the head. It makes me really mad. <laughs> makes me really mad it makes me really scared for myself it makes me really scared for myself and my co-workers and my co-workers and my family and my family and even the patients and even the patients because we aren't really protected because we aren't really protected we aren't prepared for this we are not prepared for this. Under the arm. And they aren't doing anything fast enough. And they are not doing anything fast enough. So I'm angry. So I'm angry. Top of the hand. Start tapping. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Roll your eyes from the floor to the ceiling to the floor and back the other way. Hum, happy birthday. Down to five quick. One, One two, three, four, three, five. Four, five. Come again. Okay, so I want you guys to imagine we're going to at the bottom of a staircase. And at the bottom of that staircase is where all the anger, all the fear, all the BS that you have been dealing with on a daily basis is at. As we climb the stairs in your mind, I just want you to imagine you're climbing step by step up. And when we get to the top, it's all gone. All of the anger, all of the fear, all of the stress. You ready? Yeah. Deep breath. One. One. And in your mind, take a step up. Lighter and lighter. Another deep breath. Two. Two. Less anger, less fear. Another deep breath. Three. Three. Good. Another one. <sighs> lighter and lighter. Letting it all go. Four. Four. Nice. Last one. <sighs> and five. Five. Top of the head. <clears throat> it's all getting handled now. It's all getting handled now. I'm at peace. I am at peace. I'm allowing myself to rest. I am allowing myself to rest. I release all worry. I am releasing all worry. I'm releasing all the anger. I'm releasing all the anger. I'm releasing all the fear. I'm releasing all the fear. All of my stress. All of my stress. Good. Under the arm. Give myself permission Give to not think about this stuff. Give myself permission to not think about this stuff. When I am not at work. When I'm not at work. Good. Karate chop point, even though. Even though. There's a lot of emotions right now. There are a lot of emotions right now. And a lot of thoughts. And a lot of thoughts. About the future. About the future. About what's happening. About what's happening. About what I can't control about what I can't control. I choose 
to be I, at peace. I choose to be at peace. And even though? And even though. I don't know when this is going to end. I don't know when this will end. None of us do. None of us do. I choose not to hold the stress and anger. I choose not to hold the stress and anger. Or the fear. Or the fear. In my body. In my body. Mind or emotions. Mind or emotions. And even though. And even though. This is nothing that I want to be dealing with. This is nothing I want to be dealing with. I have to deal with it. I have to deal with it. And I will do so with peace. And I will do so with peace. Calm. Calm. Compassion. Compassion. And self-care. And self-care. Good. Stop tapping. Take a deep breath. How's that one? How'd that do for you guys? Scale of one to 10. If you started at a 10, where's it at now? Yawning's good. That's a good sign. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's a good sign. I am, a, I am down to two. <laughs> Kim saying two as well. I was told that this would be my last weekend to work till further notice because I, I'm prone. Oh, X-ray tech. Yeah. So I'm thinking positive, saying maybe this happens so I don't get the coronavirus. But of course, I can get it in different ways. Don't think like that. Try not to think like that. Um, so many things are happening right now on such a great level. I do believe this. If um, you hold your energy in a place of peace as much as possible in a very difficult time, like I am not trying to minimize this as a, at all. I know how stressful this is right now. I've been in enough crisis situations to know. Like it's bad enough to have to go into a crisis situation for an hour. But when you're talking weeks and months, it's enormously hard on the system. So give yourselves a break and come back and tap if you need to. Is there anything else that you guys want me to tap on, Sheila, you can think of that's going to bring it all the way down, that's residual? Like what's holding on? Um, well, for me, it's my son. Because he's working in there. Because he's working in there. Because, you know, uh, I can be at home, but my son does have to go to work. Mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, let's tap on the worry about our family. What are you worried about with your son? You know, his mental well-being. Whether or not he can take it. Mm -hmm. The pressure. Um, we're all human beings. I know. Yes. And, you know, we have great mental capacity, but I feel this will test us. It is testing every and single And challenge time. our limits to what a human brain can take. So my fear is that he catches the virus. But I think my greatest fear is his a mental breakdown. All right. And as with every nurse, doctor, uh, tech, you know, they're just rotating nonstop through the night. And it's like, I feel there is, to them unconsciously, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel that they're, their capabilities will be tested and some may break. Yeah. And it's a, I mean, that's a reasonable, rational fear, certainly. Um, and again, I don't want to minimize it, but what I don't want is for you to carry the emotion of it because it's not going to help you. It's not going to help him. Um, and I'm sure many of you that, that are going through this right now at whatever level, um, are questioning how much you're, you can take mentally. It's hard to watch people die. We haven't seen the worst of it. I mean, we've seen the reports out of Italy, the reports out of Spain, the reports that it's like we can't keep up. I mean, I, I saw the report in Spain. They're turning the ice rinks into morgues. Um, talked to someone today who said they're already shipping out um, the ice box container freight trucks. They're lining them up 
in the hot spots right now. And that's not even a site any of us could even comprehend before. So there's that part of it too, I think that is causing and will continue to cause great stress. Anyone that's in here that's not on video, but is in fact in the chat room, um, do you have that concern with your coworkers, with yourself, with your family members that are going through it, that, that mentally and emotionally it, it, it's scary. My nursing school classmates turn on me when they thought I'd been exposed. Some of the sweetest people in the class showed an ugliness I never thought I would have ever seen. Yeah, that's the other part that, um, yeah, we'll do, we'll do that one too after we get through the fear. Because there is an, um, there's an ugliness that is happening. And I think the final round, we will tap on that. Like just people, people being really rude and selfish and, and ugly, um, through this, if, if you're tested positive and like of no fault, if this is nobody's fault, like nobody's fault, virus is a virus, it mutates, nobody's fault. Um, but it's unfortunate when people get treated poorly, you know, I have a good sense of humor. <laughs> I'm Asian. Um, and I have been wearing a mask. But, you know, people are kind of, when they see me coming, because I'm Asian, they do tend to distance even more. And smart ass that I am, when people are just being rude, I, I literally will pull the mask down and fake sneeze. It's horrible, I realize. Um, <laughs> you know, just because their attitude has been so, I've watched some people be really crappy to Asians. Literally, they will take sanitizer wipes out of their purses after an Asian person puts their groceries on the conveyor belt because what, just cause they're Asian, they just got the food from the same place you did. Like you're afraid that because they touched it cause they're eight, it's like out of this world, unbelievably rude. Um, and there is that side of it that I think we're all going to be contending with for a long time. People that have coronavirus, people that feel guilty because they have it and they're afraid of who they infected when they didn't know they had because they were in asymptomatic. So we'll tap on that too. Um, but let's tap on the, um, the mental health part of it. Um, on a, hold on. I wear scrubs to the store. They can let me and give me a wide berth. <laughs> exactly. They're keeping six feet away. I mean, it's ridiculous, right? Oh my God. People are so funny. Um, on a scale of one to 10, Sheila, as far as your fear for, for your son's mental health and your colleague's mental health, how high is it? I think that's at a 10 as well. Okay. Because you can see it in their faces. You don't have to say anything, just the body language and the eyes say it all. What are you afraid is going to happen to them? Just that they're just going to break? You know... Stress is really bad. Stress can make you sick. Doesn't even have to be the virus. Stress can kill. Yeah. Stress can shut down our bodies. The stress can make us forgetful. You know, who knows? But okay. I just don't want to have my son wake up one day and say, oh, I'm in a lot of pain. And it's just because of a mental breakdown that he may be having. I know he won't because I'm positive it's not going to happen. But it's, but it's, it's a fear. It's a fear yeah. that's just there. Okay. Okay. Find your short spot. Ready? Yes. Even though? Even though. I am very afraid for my son. I am very afraid for my son. For his mental well-being. For his mental well-being. And the amount of stress that he is yeah. under. And the amount of stress that he's under. They choose to release that fear. I choose to release that fear. I choose to see him as strong. I choose to see him as strong. In mind, body, and spirit. In mind, body, and spirit. And even though. And even though. I am afraid for my colleagues. I am afraid for my colleagues. And anyone having to help people through this. And anyone having help people through this. Because of the immense stress. Because of the immense stress. I choose to let go of that fear. I choose to let go of that fear. I choose to love myself. 
I choose to love myself. And hold them with love. And hold them with love. And even though. And even though. I am fearful about the amount of stress. I am fearful about the amount of stress. And the toll it's taking on us all. And the toll it's taking on us all. And the long-lasting implications. And the long-lasting implications. On our emotions. On our emotions. Our mental health. Our mental health. I choose to release all of it. I choose to release all of it. I choose peace. I choose peace. Top of the head. It's scary to watch how tired everybody is. It's scary to watch how tired everybody is. Front of the eyebrow. I'm afraid they're going to break. I'm afraid they're going to break. I'm afraid they're going to get sick. I'm afraid they're going to get sick. I see how tired everybody is. I see how tired everybody is. How stressed they are. How stressed they are. And it makes me worry. And it makes me worry. And it makes me feel helpless. And it makes me feel helpless. I can't do anything to stop it. I can't do anything to stop it. But I want to. I want to. Good. Top of the hand. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Roll your eyes from the floor to the ceiling to the floor and back the other way. Um, happy birthday. Count to five quick. One, two, One, three, three, four, four, five. Come again. Okay, we're going to count up again. One to five. All the fear. You need to let it go. I want you to see all the fear in little bubbles in front of you as you go up the steps. All right. With each number, we're going to pop the bubbles. Okay. Deep breath. Good. One. One. Another deep breath. Blow it out. Pop the bubbles. Two. Two. And another deep breath. All the bubbles pop. Three. Three. Good. Another one. Let it out. Four. Four. Good. Last one. All of the remaining fear. Let it go. Five. Five. Top of the head. We are resilient people. We are resilient people. This will not hurt us. This will not hurt us. Not permanently. Not permanently. It will not take us down. It will not take us down. It will not hurt my loved ones. It will not hurt my loved ones. And it will not hurt my coworkers. And it will not hurt my coworkers. No more fear. No more fear. Under the arm. No more worry. No more worry. Karate chop, even though. Even though. It's easy to be afraid. It's easier to be afraid. I choose not to be. I choose not to be. I choose to see the positive. I choose to see the positive. And fill my loved ones with strength. And fill my loved ones with strength. And even though. And even though. This is going to be a marathon. This is going to be a marathon. Not a sprint. Not a sprint. I know that my loved ones and my coworkers can handle it. I know that my loved ones and my coworkers can handle it. And so can I. And so can I. And even though. And even though. It's easy to be afraid. It's easy to be afraid. I choose not to be. I choose not to be. I choose peace. I choose peace. Good. Stop tapping. Deep breath. One to 10. Where are you guys at? I'm at one. Good. Good. Yay. <clears throat> Kim's at a one too. All right. So we brought it down quite a bit. Um, do you guys want to tap on the ugliness and rudeness of people? You think it's necessary? I think so. Cause then everybody has to, everybody has a chance to tap on everything. <laughs> on every, yeah. <laughs> they have a different way of tapping. All right. We'll I do think a 
I think one of the good positive things about sadly, sadly to say this virus is that it's giving humanity a chance to have compassion to one another. And it makes us look at each other in a different, in a different way. And I, I think, think it's a mirror. I think it's a big fat reflection and mirror. Some people aren't realizing that that's what it is, mm -hmm. but actually that's what it is. Like we have a chance to reflect on how am I being, who am I being, you know, and hopefully um, the kindness outweighs the rudeness. But I'm positive that it will. It will. <laughs> I think I, I think we're going to, be in a better space after we're this working season. towards it yeah lost my faith for a few days after that lost your faith in humanity it's easy you know and it's okay i mean look you guys this is a thing like we've never seen honestly like in our lifetimes there's been catastrophes like this pandemics like this we had bubonic plague we had you know we had the spanish flu but we weren't alive for it <laughs> You know, like I was telling my my followers in a live stream the other day, you know, sad to say that I'd even have to make this comparison, but truly, I would rather we be dealing with this than nuclear war. War. It's irreversible. Nucle <laughs> nuclear war is irreversible and like a bunch of people die at one time. And, and so while this is a global pandemic, and it's devastating and it's stressful and people are tearing at each other. The reality is this, it's better than that. That lasts a hundred years and it wipes out like your food, your water, your everything and people all at one time. So if there's a s sort of bright spot to look at this, at least we don't have that. <laughs> I mean, at least we don't have that. So yeah, <clears throat> we, are all empathic so we expect that everyone else is too i know we do expect because we have empathy that everyone else will but not everybody else does and that is obvious from the top down not saying any names just saying <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> and i think that's part of what we'll tap on to the 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 huh rudeness the lies the division the disinformation um, the conspiracy theories, the, the, all of it is just because it is maddening. It is very, it's like, really? Um, and we can't let that distract us either. We need our strength for what we're dealing with and what's in front of us right now. So find your sore spot. Even though, even though there's a lot of rudeness out there. There's a lot of rudeness out there. A lot of uncompassionate people a lot of uncompassionate people being rude and ugly being rude and very ugly and selfish and selfish i choose to release it i choose to release it i choose to forgive i choose to forgive and let it go and let it go and even though and even though there's a lot of lies being told right now there's a lot of lies being told right now there's a lot of truth being withheld too. There's a lot of truth being withheld right now. And it makes me upset. And it makes me upset. And angry. And angry. I choose to release it. I choose to release it. I choose love. I choose love. And even though. And even though. There's a ton of division. There's a ton of division. Whether it's people being afraid of getting sick. Whether it's people being afraid of getting sick or dying to get toilet paper or dying to get toilet paper. So they're hoarding <laughs> stuff. So they're hoarding everything <laughs> and not leaving anything for the people that have nothing and not leaving anything for the people that really don't have anything. I choose to release all of that anger. I choose to release all of that anger and I will not become that. And I will not become that top of the head. It still pisses me off, though. It still pisses me off. <sighs> Why do people need to be so rude? Why do people need to be so rude? Why can't we just get along? Why can't we just get along? 
It makes me so angry. It makes me very angry. (laughs) And the lies are so bad. And the lies are so bad. Which causes even more frustration. Which causes even more frustration. And because of the lies and disinformation. And because of the lies and disinformation. People are being rude and mean. People are being totally rude and mean. I don't like it. I don't like it. At all. At all. (laughs) Don't play on. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Roll your eyes from the floor to the ceiling, to the floor, and back the other way. Hum, row, row, row your boat. (laughs) 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 Count to five quick. One, two, three, four, five. Hum again. Good. We're going to count from five to one. And at one, let's just be happy. All right? Five. Five. Deep breath. Four. Four. Good. Another one. Three. Three. Good. Another one. <laughs> Two. Two. And finally. One. One. Top of the head. I'm not mean. I am not mean. I am not hoarding. I am not hoarding. So I'm proud of myself. So I'm very proud of myself. Not going to judge other people. I will not judge other people. Because <laughs> I know it's just their fear. Because I know it's just their fear. And it's their lack of empathy. And it's their lack of empathy. Glad I have empathy. I am glad I have a lot of empathy. <laughs> glad I have a sense of humor. I am glad I have a sense of humor. <laughs> okay. Even though. Even though. There's a lot of things happening that I don't like. There's a lot of things happening that I really don't like. I choose to love and accept everybody. I choose to love and accept everyone. And even though. And even though. People are rude and mean. People are rude and mean. And they really like to have their opinions. And they really love to have their opinions. I am not going to let it get to me. I will not let it get to me. I am going to choose to be loving. I am going to choose to be loving. And even though. And even though. I see it on the news. I see it on the news. I see it at work. I see it at work. I see it in the store. I see it in the store. I see it on the road. I see it on the road. I see it with my neighbors. I see it with my neighbors. I choose to let it go. I choose to let it go. And I choose love and peace. And I choose love and peace. Go ahead. Take a deep breath. (laughs) (laughs) How do you guys feel? Fabulous. Better? Lighter? All right. Very light. You can come back and watch this video. I will download it. It takes me probably half an hour or so, and then however long it takes for me to get it uploaded onto Facebook and onto YouTube. You guys are free to share it around. Um, You are so welcome. If you guys need more in next week, the week after, it really doesn't matter. Like I've made a commitment to be here for you guys. Like I can't do much. I am not going into the hospital, obviously, but I can do this. So this is my service to you. Um, And yeah, if you get into a crunch or crisis, just know I'm praying for you. You can come back and watch the video, tap again, share it with your friends, especially those who are going through the same amount of stress. Sheila, you're my hero right now for coming on (laughs) and and tapping for the people who wanted to tap but didn't want to be on video. I love and appreciate you so much. I love and appreciate every single one of you for what you're doing. And I know you're, this is not an easy time for you. Um, I pray every day, make this stop, like, like cut the path short on this virus, bring the supplies, bring the, you know, we've got some good news today that what GM is going to be manufacturing ventilators. Mm -hmm. And I know you guys are still waiting for your protection. 
um, I put up and I'm going to put a link right in here. I think I copied it already. Damn it. No, I didn't. If you go onto my Facebook page or into Burning Gold, there's a recipe for thieves oil or just um, look up thieves oil recipe. If you can't find a blend, we use the plant guru for gurus blend, but they are now back ordered four or five weeks. You can mix your own. Um, Kim was asking earlier, how do I use thieves oil? If it's mixed with a carrier oil, like almond oil or something like that, you can just rub it on your hands and rub it on your face. Or um, I do it straight on, and I use it pure blend on my hands. I put a couple drops on my hands, rub my hands like this, take my hands over my face, breathe in through the nose, breathe in through the mouth. I also take it directly on the tongue with the dropper. I drop two to three um, drops of thieves oil on my tongue. A couple weeks ago, I woke up with a runny, stuffy nose, weird tickle in my throat and was like, oh crap put the thieves oil on, started to get body aches, a little bit of a fever at like 99 um, and was starting to feel really crappy and downed more thieves oil, followed it with a big quart of water. And within two hours, the fever broke, nothing. It was gone. So it works. I'm not a doctor. I will give that disclaimer, but I'm telling you, if there's something you can use like that, that's natural. So be it, protect yourselves, do it daily. Not when you get sick, it's to prevent you from getting sick. sick. But if you do happen to get, get it, I have someone that did end up with flu symptoms on Sunday um, and was just putting the thieves oil on the hands, um, not on the tongue, and started to take it internally, um, even though they say don't do that. Did it because it's got clove, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemon, and cinnamon, all things that we would normally ingest anyways. None of that is stuff that you wouldn't ingest put it on her tongue. And within, I think, 24 to 48 hours, she was up and showering and back to normal. And it didn't drop into her chest. And because it does affect the throat um, and kind of starts there in the bronchial tubes, it will, I think it kills it. And so like, that's your best defense right now. If you're going out there, I actually put it on my mask because I have a cold. <laughs> it's smeared on my hands, <laughs> smear it on my mask. Um, so hopefully the outside of my mask, if it even tries, it dies before it has a chance to set. So you guys can use that too. You can use it as a spray, put it in a spray bottle with water and spray it on surfaces to disinfect. That's the other thing. So yeah, it said it was in stock when you ordered it. It is in stock. However, some of them are back ordered. They're just the shipping time. While it says three to five days, it's not true. Like, I think my estimated delivery is a month from now. I only have that much left with family for, but I think we can make it last. So you can get it from other places or just, like I said, get the pure essential oils from your local vitamin supplement store, mix them together, your own, the recipes up in burning gold, or just look it up. How do I make thieves oil? And um, just mix them together and use them. So you have the other oils here, so I'll mix them. Good, cool. All right, you guys, 